Dude, did you know that Nike released a new MLB template for their Nike Elite runs? That's cool. Do they make it better? When you mean better, you mean better for business, right? Because right now it's right under 400 bucks at $395, which is crazy. Ooh, for that price, I don't think I can afford it, but does it look nice at least? Define nice. You know what I mean, like the look, feel, how it wears, like look how nice these are. I hope they didn't change it. Well, let me tell you this. You might want to hold on to your old Nike runs. It can't be that bad. I don't know, man, you be the judge. Oh, 99. Judge, you see what I did there? In today's video, we're gonna check out the new Nike Elites. Yes, they're called Elites now. They're not authentic runs no more. They're Nike Elites. Besides the name change, they upped the price, which is almost $400. And then they changed the template of the jerseys. A lot of people have not been fans of that. And when you have players complaining about that as well, not a good sign. So we're gonna go ahead and check out two different Nike Elite runs. Each team is gonna have a different template. There's gonna be little variances and differences between teams. So they're not all gonna be the same. I just noticed this on the Yankees jerseys compared to this Acuna jersey. So before you end up committing and buying one of these jerseys, let's check them out just so you know what you're in for. On the left side, you have a Nike Elite run of Aaron Judge and that's gonna be size 40, which is like their small medium. This one's gonna be the large 44 with the Acuna jersey. And let's address the elephant in the room. Look at the Batterman logo. That is terribly so low. On the Braves jersey, you have that polyester piece that runs here. And some other teams also have a similar kind of build where they have a collar that breaks the color. So before on the old runs, they would sit right up here a lot higher. So here on the new Nike Elites, terrible, terrible decision, I think. They made it so much lower. But when I check out the Yankees run, just a tad lower, not as low as this one here but it's still lower on the jersey. On the Nike Elite runs, you can see right here, the thing that they added this year is adding a collar. So right here, you can see there's a different polyester from the base and the collar. Thin, you can feel that here, you can see that. And then on the Yankees run, they actually didn't add the collar. So like I said, different teams have different templates. And then on this side, pretty much kind of the same template where they don't add a cuff. So on these new runs, they add a cuff to it. So there's a different polyester piece and they stitch it and then you get a cuff. So I did like that feature. And going back to the Batterman logo, you can see right here. So here, it's gonna be stitched down. It's like a fabric material, very lightweight, very malleable. You can fold it. What they're trying to do is do a lot more performance base. So they're making it lighter. So depending on how you look at it, you may not like it. Then let's check out the lettering and numbering. So on the new Nike Elite runs, you can see the lettering. It kind of curves. It kind of reminds me of the basketball jerseys. They added a little more curvature to it. And with these, the font is a little smaller compared to last year's run. See so Acuna Jr. This one is twill material and then it's single stitched, but the material that they use on the lettering and numbering, much lighter. It's kind of similar to what they did with the Nike Elites with the football jerseys. So same material here, twill material, lightweight, very foldable, you know, for a performance-based jersey. I get why they're doing it. They're making it lighter. As a collector, you might have a different opinion, but you can see right here, they have a couple layers of stitching on it. Then when you go to the judge jersey, single stitched. So it kind of just depends on the team's template and how they do it. And then this one is super lightweight too. But one thing I did like is that they got rid of that ugly tail that they had. Of course, the back is gonna be longer and they tuck it in as the players, but they used to have like a ventilated portion that looks different from the main base, which kind of gives it like a ugly lobster tail as someone told me before. So they got rid of it and they're all the same polyester. Like I said, they added a collar on these new builds and then they have a cuff on the sleeves. On the Yankees portion, they actually don't have the collar which I like because I'm not really a fan of the collar. Wouldn't mind the cuffs. It's a Yankees jersey, so they kept it kind of true to form. And then let's go ahead and check out the Nike logo. So they have an embroidered logo and they stitch it down to the jersey on the Yankees jersey. Same thing as well. And I feel like on this Braves one, it's not as white as years prior. There's like a little tone to it. Just a slight different tone. Like it gives it a creamy kind of white. <laughs> Paws. Tags pretty much the same. Not gonna spend too much time on that. Then you have your logo. So this one's gonna be single stitched. Lighter material here. Then you have Braves. 
which still looks nice. The tomahawk, can't go wrong with it. But the material that they use here, definitely lighter than years prior. Buttons are buttons, pretty much the same buttons. The jock tag I do like just because it's standardized pretty much with all Nike products. It's a nice fabric material that's stitched down. You could feel it. It has some like layered textures to it here. Like so on this side, same thing as well, stitched down, nice sturdy fabric, which I do like. And when we check out the base, you can see how it's ventilated. This polyester is really light and really, really stretchy. But you can see it has a different kind of form on the base compared to years prior. Same thing. You could definitely feel it being like a real breezy. When it comes to sizing, I'm not gonna go too in depth, but I'm gonna give you a sizing reference on 5'6", 165. This one is their size 40, which is like the smallest that they do make. So it's like a small medium. Putting it on first impression. I'm not gonna lie, it's hella light. Get the whole feel for it. You can see right here, it's still super long because players, they tuck it in. First impressions of actually wearing it, super light, really comfortable. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not gonna hate on it. I'm gonna be positive about it. It's actually really comfortable. I'll, I'll give it that. If I take a step back and see what Nike is actually trying to do with the fit and try to make it more performance driven where it's lighter, you want to have every athletic advantage, I get it. I honestly get it because it feels nice. I recently found my old high school baseball jersey and it was thick as hell. I don't know how I survived in it in the heat, but these are nice and breezy, flowy, no constriction, like that's a whiff. If you were gonna actually play in these, these are really, really nice. I like it. I mean, the fabric, super stretchy. Like, look at this. I'm yanking that thing. Super stretchy. As a collector, it might be a different look depending on how you look at it. If you think of it like as a collector and you're like, it just keeps getting lighter and gets cheaper feeling, why is it more expensive? If you look at it that way, then this is definitely not gonna be for you. Here's a sizing reference for the size large. So. 5'6", 165 compared to the other one, a little longer sleeves. I could definitely feel that there is more room and then just a tad longer. So I could probably still rock it to be honest, but if you like the baggier look, you might do a size up and you might get away with the large. It might still work. So overall final thoughts on these Nike Elite runs for the MLB. Definitely when it comes to look wise, like the curvature, I'm not a big fan of it. The Batterman logo, because I've seen it on a bunch of other jerseys. Lower, ugly, did not like that. Smaller font, definitely did not like that. When it comes to the collar that they added, I'm not the biggest fan of the collar. I like how they did the Yankees build like the old runs. They didn't add it, but the cuffs, I actually like that. I can dig that one. I think that's an upgrade, but that's few and far in between. And I love that they got rid of that ugly tail. I mean, it was ugly. Have you wearing an authentic from the years prior outside? I look like a jackass. That drop tail that they had before just never sat right with me, especially because when you wear it outside, I look dumb. If you're a player, you tuck it in, you don't even see it. But judging it for like the actual feel and wearing it, I totally get what they're doing. Like it actually feels super nice if you are a player and you wanna play in these, this, Hands down, I think I like this feel better. I could honestly see myself wearing this on a hot, hot, hot summer day and staying cooler with it than wearing like a regular shirt. So when it comes to that performance aspect, I see it. Is it 400 bucks worth? <sighs> That just depends on you. So that's pretty much the Nike Elite Runs. So as a collector, it's kind of sad because it feels a little lighter. You may think of it as, oh, it's getting cheaper. It does feel like it's lighter, but if you see the opposite side of the spectrum where they're actually catering towards the player and making it a lot lighter for more performance because you want wins. Wins equal money. But what I think they should have done was keep the same template that they had last year. Keep these upgrades. Like the fabric, I like it. Maybe just upgrade the fabric from last year's template. Don't bring down the Batterman logo. Like the look is ugly. Performance wise, I get it. So maybe if we can blend last year's template, keeping it up higher, bigger fonts, bigger lettering, same stuff, and maybe just upgrade the little details like this, like the base and just the materials. That would have been way better. Can I get on this design team? Or just a special advisor? At the end of the day, it really just depends on you. If you think this is a downgrade, stick with the older runs. They still have them available. They're gonna phase it out. So those are likely to go on sale. So get as much and stock up on those older ones. But these new ones, if you don't like it, 
you're gonna have to get used to it one day. So fortunately, maybe they can make some tweaks to make the look better, but you know, I don't know. We'll see what happens. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit like, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So when I drop new videos like this, you don't miss out. You don't have to spend the money. I'll spend it. Thanks again for watching and peace. I really like this stretchy ones. It's actually really nice.